Well, good evening and welcome to Balakadi campsite. It's a return after a three year hiatus. It is Monday the 9th of May 2022. We've come four days camping, however, it has been blown a hoolie most of the day. And as you can see, there's no tent up, there's maybe an air tent up there, and they've gone in the yurt. However, plan B for once. We're in the Bluebell Caravan. So let's take a look. Something new, a new addition to the camping bits and bobs. There's some eBay special roof rack, uh, roof holder. It's a uh, odd you, and it's all right, all's loads. Anyhow, let's have a look inside the tent. It's like the through the keyhole. As you can see, it's a nice little area where you can chill out. Make some scran when it's nice. Of course, there's no midges today, but they'll be back with a vengeance. So, just a bluebell. And who have we got in here? And we've got Cameron, who's a bit on the camera shy side today. What a lovely caravan this is. And we're having chicken nuggets. And there's the accommodation. She's very shy. She's looking now, but she won't look into the camera. So as we look about, <laughs> she's really avoiding everything. Funky little bed, so we're in that tonight. She's got a signal. This should be interesting sleeping in this. And Monty and Penny uh, down here. There's also another mattress that'll pull out for extra people if needed. So it's not bad at all. And it's nice that Mont and Pen have joined us. Uh, she's in one. Hello Mont, nice to see you. You pack it in, you fool. Hello. You're a bit slack in a minute. <laughs> and I've come with a selection of ales. Some Cumbrian beer, locally sourced. And some cider from Herefordshire from my visit last month. So it's very nice, we've got a gas fire, so I'm not going to go cold. There's cooking utensils in there, what more do you want? Spot on. Bit of ambience. Dark now. Outside. Still blowing a bit of a hoolie. Dogs have made the little den wanted bed. And soon you won't see. Want these by the ladder. Can't see them though. Actually unless I did this. And it's rather penny nesting everywhere. And there's Mont. There he is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at that face. <laughs> well, after a night in the Blue Bull Caravan, a bit of a rain this morning, in between setting the tent up, it's finally up. So, Miura Egg Buckingham, which I bought in lockdown two years ago, and this is its first outing. Monty seems to like it. It's not a bad tent actually. Big enough. We've got a carpet. There's cabin stuff when you came up here to move, so this is handy. So sleep accommodation there. Come round. And that's just a, a junk scoped about. We've got another table, I haven't put it up yet, but there's a bit where to put it up or not because we've got a table on the other side outside. And this is a nice new uh, brand new prep area, stroke cupboard, which ain't too bad at all, liking this, uh, what I like about this tent, two doors, one here and one here, and this has a rain brow as well on it, you can see, well actually a tent the other way around, 
typical. So it's got a cracking all of a sudden, so we're open. So we'll venture about somewhere. We'd like to go to the Muller Galloway while I'm here. Just see what it's like. But well, as you can see, we're the only people camping right now. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, this is a Glen Luce Abbey. Unfortunately, it says here, we regret this monument is closed. Fallen masonry, so there's an issue. So it's all cordoned off, which is a real shame. I wouldn't mind looking that. Around the back, there appears to be somewhere where you can get in and have a ratch about. But yeah, unstable structure, so the whole lot's cordoned off. It's a shame, really. It's got out nice as well today. So it's got a little car park. And I'll tell you this was some sort of visitor centre there as well. Ah, oh, what a shame. Very nice to have a good ratch in there. Well, it's a little bit of a drive. I'm at the Mull of Galloway. Well, it's suddenly point in Scotland. It's on breezy side, so we're gonna have to walk over to the lighthouse over there. See what spectacular views we can get. But, uh, the weather is pretty decent this afternoon. We've come down Lewis Bay and some spectacular scenery, coastal scenery. So anyhow, without further ado, let's get to the lighthouse. There's a lighthouse in Muller Galloway. To go. Once again, she's camera shy. But look out to see from here. Isle of Man. Pick it up on the zoom in. Visit the centre road. There you go. That's there what we're staying on the arbor. A shag, bud. Yes, a shag. Later. Can't edit that out. Looks like a bit of a lobster, that. What? It tells you what's what, of course. But you've got to guess. <laughs> Just a bit out the windy, it's proper windy outside. But well, this is nice. They even got a little map. Over here. Got some storms there. It's a oh, pretty. Well, I've come out the wind a bit now. This is the path to the fog on, so I'm going to have a wonder. We're just clearing out a bit. I'm going to zoom in, see if I can be steady, and if it picks it up. So I can I think I can make out fells on the other side of the coast over there. I don't know if this camera's picking it up though. So you've got the Isle of Witton down the bottom at the end here and then behind of it. Oop, nearly fell over. So looking this way, it's the Isle of Man. There's a nice garden here. Ah, so it's got a cottage when so people can stop here as well. It's a bit too hazy over at the Isle of Man, unfortunately, to have a good gander. <clears throat> I look down, 
Gonna go down to the fog on here. Get a shot of it. Why not? So, if you didn't know, if you haven't seen it, part of the vanishing films done here. Scotland's uh, Gerard Butler was part of the leading role. I think that's what Cadden was looking at back there on the on the board, taking a picture of Gerard Butler. I don't know if you can get in, mate, this is the fog on now. Seriously loud. A protector for ships. Many men to go. Look down there. Plenty of seabirds. So it's a good fair hike up there, back up to Lighthouse, cliff like. Not for fair darted like, if you're a bit dubious of height, it's definitely not for you. Let's take a look where we're here. Oh, aye. Fair drop down there, like. Imagine this kind of... Absolutely spectacular. There's a huge fog on itself. Let some sound out. that wind. I'm going to manage to get a little bit more clearer. Well, believe it or not, this is not my hometown, but this is the alter ego. <laughs> this is the other Maryport. Harry Potter Beach in South West Scotland and a nice beach it is all it is is a holiday park I thought it was a village but a nice little holiday park but yeah very nice less windy down here than it was over there so there's the Muller Galloway there so and if I zoom back in you still see more of the Isle of Man there we go An island out there. I'll have to look up the name of the island. But I've got the binoculars and seen a lot of birds. There it is. My hand can't keep steady. Apologies. So we're now on a much in Port Patrick. On this whistle stop day tour. <laughs> Lovely little spot this is. I'm just parked over there. Lighthouse. Shame the chippy is not open, which we was hoping for. But yeah, this is a delightful little spot. A little slipway here. I'm sure when the tide comes in. Stuff running down. Let's see, look. Princess Victoria. And we've got a plaque here. In honour of the Port Patrick lifeboatman who fought bravely to rescue the Princess Victoria. 31st of January 1953. It's quite a setting this. Well this is the starting point of the Southern Upland Way. It's a good nice steep hike to get things underway up onto the cliff tops. Nice little play area around here as well. Popular.
a bit like a coast to coast at 10 feet really. You know what this boat's got a load of shipwreck in form, all the shipwrecks are in this area. Tells you all about it. And as I said, the southern upland way, the map, it goes from west to east. There's a map. 212 miles. Penistine and the dog. What a lovely place this is like. Proper nice. Well, that's a little whistle stop tour of Port Patrick. What a lovely, lovely spot this is. Cracking. And over there, if I can zoom in. There's a marker over there, I think that's the route into Belfast, more or less, for boats. If I can keep it steady, there is a marker out there, you can just vaguely see it there, there it is. The ferries, stuff. Yeah, impressed with this spot, plenty of places to stay as well. Very picturesque. Where are we going now? Strand Ryan. Lock Ryan. Cairn Ryan over there. It's on its way to Belfast. So picking that up. Only just. Chippy supper. And the last thing on the menu tonight is a deep fried Mars bar. It's got a bit of Martha steak, Wigtown Bay. Been here before, but it's nice to have a walk along and see. It's, it's a lovely view out here. And there's a estuary here going up Cree Town, Cairns more the fleet in the distance. It's a dry day, showers expected, but currently it's alright. So, yeah, Martha Steak. So, there's a few traffic cones here because some of the uh, walkways are a bit on the dodgy side, but underfoot, don't want to get uh, get my foot stuck <laughs> for going through the wood. No, that would be funny. Okay, it's 11th of May today, and this event happened 11th of May, 1685. How weird is that? Well, but if you ask me, it's a bit of a disturbing way to uh, to go, get tied up and just drown. Horrible. So we're going to walk along this path now. And this is the old harbour, not much of a harbour, but it is classed as a harbour at Wig Town. It's very mucky cool of that water. Moving bit here. Nice place to sit over there. Maybe we can have time chilling out. I was here last, there was a couple of boats. Oh, maybe that stopped happening now. The amount of silt build up on these banks you won't get much. Still kept nice. Nice picnic area over here as well. Now I've come to the Isle of Witton, this is my second visit here. Right in the edge. Looking over towards the Cumbrian coastline. See Robin Rig. I'm after picking it up on the the camera. Still a bit windy. Right, the wind turbines is inside. I've got some binoculars. I can see the fells as well. Well, it's picking it up. I can't see very well. On the camera screen. 
nice day. over into it, it's cordoned off at the bit so it's obviously had some sort of damage. It's gonna probably had a bit of stone damage and half the walls out. Oh look some strange person sitting on the other side of this wall. Crazy. Nice little spot. Can I have a bit? Yeah, we'll keep going. It's a lovely way out of this. A nice little boat in as well. I guess lobsters on the menu, we like. This is lovely, this spot like. Definitely recommend coming here if you're on your adventures. Lovely spot. Beaten. Now we're driving along on our way to Port William because um, St Ninian's Cave was out. We've come to this viewpoint. Just here. Look at this. Dialer Man. This is the Muller Galloway over there. What a gorgeous spot this is. Wow, what a gem. What a gem. Now this is spectacular. How far can I see over? With my binoculars I could see the top the beacon on snare fell earlier. I don't know how far this I can't keep it steady because of the wind. That is lovely. Arrived at Port William, right on the seafront. Excellent sculptor. Sculptor by Andrew Brown, 2005, Port William. What is its life? If full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. W. H. Davis. But yeah. Stare at a view like that every day, you won't come play. It's a nice last spot, this. Coming into it, a nice uh, campsite. On the the beach further along that way. And it's got a couple of shops, spa, looks like tasty bites. It's got another community shop. And lots of directional stuff. What's it got on here? 
London 323 miles, Mull of Galloway 12 miles, Belfast 60, Iceland 970, New York 3540, Isle of Man only 22 miles from here as the crow flies. Edinburgh 111, John O'Groats 310, Newcastle 131. Very nice. So, as I'm filming this, Karen's going to get the ice creams in this shop. I think this is a shop and it doubles up as a bar. Not bad at all. Look, a nice last spot. To say the least. Beautiful place. Back at Bruce's Stone, Loch Trool. Just come for a much. Last day, just a quiet day out. Not up too much bit of sightseeing. Somebody camping on the island bit. Over there. There's a Southern Upland Way. Memories doing that walk a few years ago. Of a circular area. And then up the Merrick that way. Much quieter than it has been in the past. He's pining away. Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, whose victory in this glen over an English force in March 1307 opened the campaign of independence which he brought to a decisive close, Bannockburn, 24th of June, 1314. Bluebells everywhere at this time of year. We're at the Red Deer Range now in middle of Galloway Forest. So it's been feeding time, there's loads of deer over here. And they're just, uh, there we go, there's a load over there. There we are. <laughs> Several deer. So the rangers ensure they're looked after. Very pretty. All going up on the hill. There's already a couple out there. This one won't come closer. She want a bit of interest. Very pretty. Wow. So we're in this hide now. <laughs> Calendar and element taking pictures of these. These are youngsters. Hmm? These are youngsters. Yeah. It's fascinating, isn't it? She's got a younger one over there in the field, I think she has. Yeah. Probably like she's in there. It's nice, this. <laughs> Well, he's a treat. You want to get a seat? Yep. Yeah. Who's my dear? You look clever enough, but well worth it. Wow. Can you clean up the floor? Well done, though. Charles, how old is this young? It looks a young dear. Well done. Yeah. 
Hello, oh, yeah. Well, that's a quick visit to Clattering Shores Dam, Clattering Shores Lock. I remember last time it was up here, it was well camping, and it was the coldest night we'd ever had. But yeah, it was down in the Raiders car park, Raiders Road car park. But you know, so we're looking now, this wouldn't have been too bad, the sticky tent up there. <laughs> if only. Very nice. Fleeting visit. Back to camp. It's almost tail. Waterfall. Not to be mixed with the one at Moffat. Short walk from the car as well. See how far I can get up. As you do. It does go up there. But I think it's a circular walk. Yeah, just above me is a monument. Murray's monument. I didn't know much about this. Obviously it's part of Scottish history. Alexander Murray, born and raised in a small cottage near here. Grew up to be professor of Oriental Languages at Edinburgh University. Bit of a horrible day. <laughs> Be a good climber to that. Not going up today though. Save that for another time. Very good views at the top. Well, that's us all packed up. Unfortunately, it rained all last night, but the tent held up nice. But uh, not a lot we can do. So, I'm going to set off back to Cumbria. This uh, thing I bought off eBay, I don't think I'm going to stick with it. I might get a proper hard shell one. <laughs> I hope it holds out. Anyway, a couple of campers came on yesterday. There was a couple more, but. They didn't arrive, apparently. Yeah, very good four days. Shame about the weather, not that you can do about crappy weather. It is what it is. Right, let's head back home to Cumbria by the coast of Galloway. Yeah, I'm still here. I haven't shown myself on camera. Already. No, just on the way home, we're going down the coast road. We visited Kakubri, I didn't get the camera out, but it's a nice place. <clears throat> so I'm now in Palnaki, which is more or less opposite. Home. Behind her there is home, over the Solway. I believe one of the boats we had in Maryport was brought over here, and I don't know if it was this thing. It's a while ago. But it was hanging off the harbour in Maryport. But it's been just brought into here, up this estuary. So there's lots of inlets on this Galloway coastline. I'm gonna go to another one in a bit, if I can find some. Well, we've done a stop at Kipford now. So I'm just walking down the jetty. This is where the fishing board goes. So this is the estuary. For the Solway Firth, are yeah? So this is an inlet. Just 
just a shame I can't see over that way and back over the Solway first so I were in but yeah it's a very popular little uh, place this I've got to say really is further on the top on the hills there's a little caravan site well it's not little it's a good size people have some excellent views but this is very attractive well it's one of those windy days you'd never believe it's May where's the heat is he blowing a hula <laughs> 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 he's blowing him back. Now he's something interesting. Cameron spotted this on a way in the car. What a lovely sculpture this is. Dogs on climbing the trees. Very nice. A nice house to match and steps as well. Hidden gem this like. Little spot. Very hidden gem. So just a lovely summer's evening down here, be cracking, chilling out, watching the sun disappear over this way. Clear night. Wishful thinking like it today. <laughs> yeah, what a loud, nice last spot. Final destination is Rockcliffe, and why not celebrate with a nice cream and a flake? So this is directly opposite home, because you can see the windmills in the distance. This is another nice spot, isn't it? Like it? There's not, well you can say yes to the camera, it's alright, yeah. very shy, there seems to be a lot of walks along there, shells, proper nice spot this, and the island over there, High Rock Island, that is, <clears throat> not sure, when the tide's out you can walk across to it, well you certainly could, a while back, but mm, very interesting. I'm like in four now. Tell you all about Rockcliffe. Sorry, mate, the ice cream. Sorry, yeah. Rough Island. Lotter I'd <coughs> hold set. Hmm. That's Kipford. So all this is hilly walks and stuff. Little gem. Anyway, that's the end of our little holiday, four day holiday, we've had a good time, the weather's been pretty shit though, apart from one day, but that's the way it is. You'd expect me to be a little scorchy at this time of year, but once again it's been a typically damp squib of a week. But it doesn't stop us visiting plenty of spots, so I hope Karen's enjoyed herself. No comment? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, yes, she speaks. Well, dogs have enjoyed the cell, done all right. So that's goodbye from Monty, and goodbye from Penny, and goodbye from Karen. See ya. See ya. And I ought to make some more videos soon because I'm, I'm very short. I'm making them this year, so other commitments. That's just the way it is. Right. See you later. For half an hour.